you're going to talk to me with respect every time you speak to me, just the same way how I talk to you with respect every time I talk to you. And if you can't do that, you're not, you're going to lose the privilege to call my phone. We're not going to talk at all because I will be damned if I allow anybody to disrespect me on my phone that I'm paying for with my money. All that. I had planned that I was gonna get up well I planned this out from like a couple of days ago today's Wednesday by the way so I was gonna get up and um, probably go to the laundromat and then two days ago I got a call that I have an appointment today at once I'm like okay whatever maybe I could do the appointment because when you wake up in the morning before you know what it's one o'clock I'm like maybe I could do the appointment and um, then go to the laundromat that the plan of going to the laundromat was canceled real quick when somebody decided to plan their day twice, pretty much. Because you planned your day with me, and then you planned it with somebody else, and I'm tight, okay? But then, um, yesterday I got something in the mail that I have to now go to the post office to send back. So, I also have that to do, and I just can't seem to figure out what I want to do with my day. I'm supposed to be going to do the laundry tomorrow, because my laundry bag is heavy, so I'm getting picked up. But I just feel like I want to just go over there today. However, I'm thinking right now it's 10 o'clock and by the time I go over there and like come back, it's going to be 12 o'clock. Am I really in the mood to go? Not exactly, especially because the bag is a little bit heavy and typically I don't allow the bag to get so heavy because I know that I'm going to have to walk over there and, and keep in mind that it's like one block over. But I don't typically allow it to get so heavy. So now I'm annoyed that it's so heavy and I keep feeling like, okay, maybe I'll just not bring some of this stuff and like do, and I'm not doing that. What would have been the point of going to the laundromat just to leave some of this stuff? That makes no sense. Plus I have this appointment and I'm thinking I'm gonna, so I don't know. I just, what I'm saying is I don't know. And I'm very irritated because I had the entire day planned out. And uh, no, it's not. Luckily for me, I still have tomorrow where I could both go to laundromat early in the morning and then pop by the post office to drop off his package, which at this point it's looking like that is what I'm going to do. So I might just clean up the room because um, everywhere else in the apartment is clean, clean up the room, wait for my appointment at one and then probably go on a little walk because I'm also dressed for that. But if I go on the walk, I could also bring my package to drop off by the post office. That eliminates one step tomorrow. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make sure the package is ready so that I can go and do that. I have some smoothie in the fridge. I think I'll drink that today because I had it in there since yesterday. I don't want it to spoil. So I'm going to drink that today. But from where I'm sitting right now, I feel like I'm going to chill. Because I got ready and everything and like started taking up the laundry basket. And I'm like, oh, I can't even. Cambada, like, why is it so heavy? I'm irritated that it's heavy. So I'm going to wait until tomorrow. But um, for the most part, I need to clean up around here because the lady that I have the appointment with, oh, we all zoomed in now. The lady that I have the appointment with, I think she's going to be coming inside. She said the appointment is supposed to be like 15 minutes or so, but she should be coming inside. So like hair that just is not so a cluttered mess, I need to clean that up. All right, so it's nice and clean here. The living room is company ready and I feel like I just need to go inside of the bedroom and like put away a lot of the stuff. Cause I bought some new stuff from Shein and most of those are what I have inside of um, the bedroom. So I just need to figure them out really. And that would be it for that space. So I'm gonna go in there and see if I'm in the mood to figure that out. Took the sheet off of my bed. I need to put a new one, put away all the schools and oh, not really in the mood to do it right now, honestly, but like, I'll see. So, I 
I changed my sh my sheet because I want to go to the laundromat and um, let me put this here. And I need to put a new sheet on. This is an oversized beach hat full of bathing suits. I'm gonna include a clip of like all the bathing suits so you guys can see those. I need to find somewhere to put these. And I have some clothes that I bought. I need to find somewhere to put those too. Listen, watch your mouth. You hear me? Watch your mouth when you talk to me. You see, one thing about me, I am very particular about how I allow people to talk to me. Because one thing I'm not going to do is allow anybody to feel like it's okay to talk to me crazy or to spaz out and like, I'm going to be okay with that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And I'm going to make it clear that I'm not okay with that. You're going to talk to me with respect every time you speak to me, just the same way how I talk to you with respect every time I talk to you. And if you can't do that, you're not, you're going to lose the privilege to call my phone. We're not going to talk at all. Because I will be damned if I allow anybody to disrespect me on my phone that I'm paying for with my money. All that. Damn. I'm so tight.